Welcome to the Jay and Friends podcast. My man hit me today. He was like, yo, he sent me, he sent me the AZ shit. And I was like, he was like, yo, I just got an AZ. I just seen him on Math Hoffa shit. I'm like, nigga, AZ been, I've been around since do or die. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So like that AZ shit to me, I was, I was a part of the firm, nigga. I, I was that, that fourth member of the firm. Yeah. Did, did he, did he not hear you singing? Do you want to ride? Yeah. Bass? Yeah. So, <laughs> um, but no, that, that was, that was, yeah. AZ, I, this is a much anticipated album for AZ. He got some good features too, man. So, um, this he does. Be, this should be a slick album. Yep. I like it. Y'all check out Buster shit. I haven't. Don't I worry about it. I saw already on the opener. That oh, yeah. he's he. I know it's crazy though. It's not as what I thought it was gonna be, but he still smoked it. Is it? I yeah, heard the he one he did. With, um, so I was watching. So Bun B, not Bun B. Um, yeah, Bun B got a show on. Um, what's the what's the old the old head channel XM? Oh, the sure. old forty three forty three. Rock the bells. Rock the bells. <laughs> The, the cruise you want to go yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. LL shit. So he's got he's got a radio show on there. And so he was talking about how um he cleared Buster in the baby joint. So I guess he they used Oh yeah, yeah, they used that Yeah, yeah, they used that track. And he yeah. was talking about how how Buster would just call them and be like, yo. And he'd just spit a freestyle over that be like basically that that was his favorite song. And he was supposed to use it years ago, but I guess Drake used it. He did. Yep. Drake used it, and he said, "Yo, let let the Drake shit bubble for a little bit, and then go ahead and do your thing." So now this is his time. So yeah, I want to hear the Buster drink with Kodak because I was looking at him on a. He was it's on, a on the opener. Oh, that for real. Uh, yeah. He was, he was talking because he was talking about Spoiler him. On, um, yeah. Spo- hey, I ain't know, but yeah, he was talking about him on the uh, on a sneaker shopping episode, not on Complex, another joint. He was overseas, him and Spliff, and he was talking about how um, him and Kodak have a great relationship and how he always like. Bigging up Kodak because he he fucks with the he fucks with his realness so yeah, I wanted to hear that yeah. joint and you know that, that Haitian yo, making shit so I mean niggas make albums every day but like Fetty Wap been locked up for how long and he got albums yo, I dropped? love it yo I love it yo Can you, you know I'm a, I'm a Fetty you know I, I talked about Fetty last season yo you was a Fetty I, fan I like Fetty yo you know what I'm saying I feel like he kept it a hundred I mean he, and he kept it real he was like look the, that music wasn't selling so I got back in the streets yo, <laughs> facts. He was in Baltimore getting money and riding dirt bikes. Yeah, <laughs> like, how, how the fuck Fetty Wap ended in Baltimore riding dirt bikes and selling coke? The world will never know. Bad, Bad time over no time. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right, we all uh, know your stats. Yeah, with that part. <laughs> uh, y'all, are y'all boys, y'all ready to start? Let's go. All right, let me get my podcast opener. You ever- ready? Let's go. You ever hear Spanish people talk real fast and it just sound like a bunch of clicks? This is <laughs> This is what he said. Don't think of nothing, get the cut the other She was trying to slow down, talking to mama. This is it. This is my nightmare. We going to jail. I get up. Ah! I got my hands up. I'm cooperating. We get off the plane. They got a security booth right there. You got to get in the booth one by one. When you get in the booth, you got to press a button. When you press the button. Fucking head, come on. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Jerry Prince Podcast episode 102. Before we get started, I'm 202. 202. My fault. 102, 202. <laughs> I want to send a shout out to those that wear the uniform, those that wore the uniform, those that wear the uniform in the future. Shout out to those that handed VR all day. Shout out to 96 of Baltimore. Zone, Zone 18. 18. And the rest of the DMV, special shout out to PG County. Uh, I got one more. I got one more. Uh, shout out to our barber. Yeah. Shout out to hey, Donnie. Hey, Happy hey, birthday, hey, Donnie. Donnie. God. Donnie. Hey, shout out, buddy. Um, I got one more opener before we get started. Uh, let's get it. Oh shit! Here we go. It has one dollar bill. My one fault. Here we go. Quarter and two pennies. Damn. Jaden has one dollar bill, one quarter and two pennies. How how much money? How much money does he have? Jaden broke. <laughs> 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 I just thought about a mirror when I seen that. <laughs> I just yeah, imagine yeah, enough for Roblox, so yeah, he broke. I was, I would imagine <laughs> tasting across the table, him doing the homework. He's like, "Son, read the problem out," and then he says, <laughs> he says "Trying to quit that shit, yeah, the Roblox yeah, money." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's not a Roblox money. Oh uh, man, how y'all boys broke. doing? How y'all feeling, man? I'm good, man. I don't have no complaints. Uh, always uh, good to take a little time off and shit. You know. Mm-hmm. 
You yeah, it's been a chill week, man. Uh post post Thanksgiving. Um, you know, back to work, little grind. It was quiet though. It was eerily quiet at work. I was like, that's a good thing. Nah, I don't know, man. Uh, when people get when they get that quiet, people get bored. When people get bored, they, they start trying shit. to they start trying to find shit for motherfuckers to do. Like, yeah. man, let's go reinvent the wheel today, nigga. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I you know I, I sent you guys something earlier, and it was it was talking about a guy who who said that EOD. You know, EOD yeah, means end of the end day, day. people. He thought that shit meant end of December. Yo, my man was serious. He was dead ass, right? It is crazy because, like, I think like that. I am, I, the guy's name is Brian. Right? I, I am Brian, right? So I'm like, between Thanksgiving and New Year, don't ask me to do shit that's going to change anything about this fucking program. Like, I'm on, I'm just on the payroll at this point. Gotcha. Like, don't ask me to do nothing. I know you're. Yeah, I know you think way different, right? <laughs> but I am in. The, I am in the. I'm in a position where I'm gonna say I'm not doing shit between now and the motherfucking the oh, yeah. second week of of January. You know what I mean? Uh, Cause I need a couple of days when I get back at the first. But <laughs> yeah, man. So I'm in that. I'm, just don't fuck shit up. Don't fuck shit up between now and the years. If I do. Quick. I do have a. I got a new guy. He's management. Oh shit! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's management. He's supposed to have been like help, but from when he, how he talks, he's my boss. But I talk to him like he's my help. help. <laughs> so he was he was telling me like, yeah, I'm gonna have you guys like on this level, and you run this part, and then he like, I'm gonna just be up here, and he drew it out for you. Yeah, he he did he did you know. And then, <laughs> so I'm, so I'm like. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So he in there, he trying to reinvent the wheel. My man in there, like, it was a lot of shit that going on at our job. Like, we very, very busy. Um, he worrying about, like, cleaning shit. Like, bro, we deal with wood and dust and all about a bunch of shit. We don't have time. We got sweepers for that. Sweep. Yeah, he want to sweep and get cleaning stations. Bro, I know you used to Target. This ain't Target, brother. <laughs> that's what that's what want? Yeah, he's come, he's come from Target. So, I mean, he has some cool ways and then some ways... He likes to delegate shit. So he he's I don't think he's a guy that wants to get his hands dirty, pause. Yeah. But like, um, I make him do shit though. Like, no, you're gonna do this. <laughs> Keyword in that sentence, make. Yeah, because he tried to act real quick, he tried to act like uh he was saying, like, oh don't know, you need to do this, this. I'm like, what you think? I can't delegate. I say, y'all, one thing about me, I'm a great delegator. I can ask you and I can tell you what to do. But then sometimes I like to do the work too. Like I'll knock it out to make sure that I know it's done completely. Right, yeah. He got this look on his face. And then I really made Joe do shit yesterday and today. Like, no, you going to do that. So, <laughs> I mean, is is we going through some trials and tribulations yeah, yeah. right now. Yeah. So, I'm going to give him like, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> seriously, seriously. Because mm-hmm. I'll be trying my best not to flex. But he'll keep getting on my nerves till it get later in the day, like four in the afternoon. And now he's irritating me. Now I flex. Like, yo, because you, you, you can't tell me what to do. I've been here too long. So stop. And once I flex, it's like later before I leave. Oh, I just wanted to thank you, Darnell, because this is this. Oh, no, you felt that shit right. Yeah, so don't thank yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I'm a master delegator. I, I like, I want to be a part of every project. I don't want to own none of them shits. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not signing shit. I don't, I like, I will. Yeah, we should do this. We should do that. I'll I'll draw your whole fucking road map and walk away. It's funny because <laughs> I told him last week, I'm like, I be having to leave early on Thursdays and I come in late on Fridays because I do a podcast. He's like, oh, really? What's the name of your podcast? Nothing. Mm-hmm. No. Nah. Your mama's he was always. like, search, search nothing. So yo, you should have seen me like, well, whatever then. Yo, that shit is the funniest shit. <laughs> yo, gave me the whatever then. I mean, you can't. I mean, because I'm going to talk about you on this motherfucker. That's, that's why I said no, because I'm going to talk about half these motherfuckers I work with. And yo, motherfucking ass. Yeah, and mister. <laughs> you on the doctor today, nigga. Yeah. Motherfucking right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. How about you, Jay? Uh, Good. Good week. Um, You know, we're going to go for a little work trip, which goes into we're going on vacation for the next week. But don't fret. You will have two episodes and a playlist. Uh, So don't worry about it. Uh, Like, share, comment, subscribe. Cost you nothing. Go a long way. Man, sure we off. Y'all back on that Call of Duty with me and Tay. Yeah. Darnell 410. That's my yeah. PSN. We had a. We, my name, Darnell. P, uh, Darnell 410. Uh-huh. Shipment is back. Shipment. Oh, I'm on shipment now. Is I'm back. on now. Yeah. I'm on it's, now. It's, it's Russ, Russ Mint. So Shipment and Russ is the playlist. I'm a yeah, hardcore yeah. player. I don't play that soft porn shit. 
I like playing hardcore. <laughs> You're still trash, nigga. So, <laughs> hey, sh- shoot or shoot. Yeah, so the next two weeks we'll be on vacation, but you will have episodes. Um, Thanksgiving, what y'all boys do? How was it? Let's go. Let's get some details. Give me something. People want to know. Thanksgiving was cool because I literally did nothing. Jimmy cooked all types of shit. She cooked too much, but <laughs> I'm like, baby, it's only going to be me and you here. Because um, our daughter went to New York, and um, and the boy, he was gone. So I was, he was... He went to a football game and was somewhere else. So it just was us. Yeah. We had whole ham, well, half a ham. We had a jerk turkey. That shit was a missile. Mm, what? I've never had jerk turkey before. It was baked or fried? Fried. Oh, they, right. yeah, she ejected right. that shit. Yeah. That shit was a missile. Um, and everything else that everybody else eat on Thanksgiving. And then I just sat in the house and watched football, watched the parade, and that was it. I literally did nothing. Mama Nell was working, so I just talked to her, and that was it. So I didn't. I ain't go visit nobody. I ain't do shit. That's cool. We are doing pause giving next year. I like I be in the house, so I don't. You know, that's we'll that's what it's normally double XP on Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. yeah. Double, it was double XP all weekend. <laughs> yeah. so, any chance I didn't have to spend with the with the misses and the family, I was I was playing Call of Duty. We're gonna do a pause giving um either week before Thanksgiving or week after, and literally we're just gonna go live. We we'll just do Friendsgiving. And didn't go live. We can do either way. Pause giving friends. Yeah, we went out. We we go go. I, I can't speak for y'all. I don't got a lot of friends. Y'all pretty much make up the majority of it. So, which is us and the, and the, and the other halves. That's That'd pretty much going to be it. Let's do it. Fuck um, it. Yep. Yeah, I mean, so Thanksgiving for me was, it was, it was uh, my wife, son, my parents came down. We, uh, we got a, so we got a turkey from Popeyes. Popeyes. I knew it. I knew it. it. Every time Popeyes. I seen that commercial, I said, Tay's going to be the one um, to test that, that shit out. That motherfucker was, it was all right. <laughs> It was for six, yo, sixty five dollars. The bird was huge for what we paid. Fifteen right? twenty pounder. Yeah, it was it was huge. Cooked and seasoned. It's cooked and seasoned. All we had to do was throw it in the oven, a couple of hours, and then um, came out well. It was juicy. I was like, okay, this shit was nice. It wasn't deep fried, but it was you know I think they smoke it, um, but it was solid. And we had some sides. We ain't cook none of that shit. My wife made stuff, and but that was about it. At this point, we like, all right, I know you can cook. You don't, you don't have to prove nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? So we just. We, Bought a couple of sides off a place that we liked that, that made good mac and cheese and collard greens and shit like that. Threw that shit in the pan. Ate, drank. That's the most important to me. You know what I'm saying? The whiskey exactly. On, the whiskey and wine was on deck. The kid had a good time. Parents had a good time. You know what I mean? So that's what we did. So that was, that was chills. So, and that shit was on my house by Saturday. All of it. All of it. <laughs> Fucking, I don't give a fuck. It was a half a bird in that bitch. That motherfucker was in the trash, brother. <laughs> All right. Well, my Thanksgiving. Y'all ready? I got a story. Time You're addressing the stuffing, guy. Jay. I don't eat either that you don't shit. Call, you don't eat none of that nope. shit? Nope. 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 And I just read an article that's like stuffing is phasing out with the millennials. They only want, they like, only, they like dressing. And they don't even like that. So that shit is all of that shit. About 10 years, you eating more. They probably they even, want sushi more, for yeah, fucking yeah. Thanksgiving. Avocado toast. They, they, don't, they don't want no fucking turkey. They want sushi. All right. So check this out. Thanksgiving. Old lady booked a, a big super mansion Airbnb, upstate New York. You guessed it, Sleepy Hollow. Everywhere in this fucking town, headless horses. <laughs> Everywhere. We get there at night, creepy than a motherfucker. So we get there, cool shit. And you can tell it's a bachelor pad. The nigga got the state of the art. That nigga, got, that nigga has a computer screen about as big as the screen in that goddamn theater. In really? there. Yeah. And he got like five of these shits all over. This shit is... If it, it shit is dope, shit is it's just in the middle of nowhere, yeah. sleepy hollow, nigga. You, you, I was like, you dump, you dump bodies out here, white, black, Mexican, <laughs> other. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> Nobody's coming to look up for you. Um, so then we get there. Now, old lady Dominican, you know Dominicans. When Thanksgiving start on Thursday, they don't finish eating and partying until Monday morning, about three four a.m. <laughs> so what happened was I woke up. I fried the turkey. Everything else was catered. So turkey was cut. Uh, I got the shit on video. Everybody tasted this old shit. They never had the fried turkey. Boom. Right? About 1 o'clock, Dominicans start coming in like they coming over on the boat. This <laughs> guy. Right. 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 <laughs> I'm at. It's a dramatist. It's a satire, people. But it's a real story. But I'm at like the Scarface yeah. intro. Dun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dun, I might put dun, that in the music dun. bed on this shit. <laughs> so 
it's a bunch of us that are bought into the family and they call us, we call ourselves the others. They call us the blessings. We got our own little section. We <laughs> sit now. Yeah. We sit now. So what's the ratio? Is it majority black or is it like a little mixture? Hell no. It's 99% Dominican. 1% nigga. No, the others. The others. <laughs> the others are the people that are brought into the family. No, no, family. I'm saying. Are, they, are, are the others black? It's two women, they? two men. One is uh, African. But he looked like he might be like a dark skinned Dominican or Puerto Rican. Uh, and then there's two project. women and they are Dominican. So we chilling. Oh yeah. But y'all so you like the only nigga. I just said ninety nine percent Dominican. Yeah, I'm just saying one percent like, nigga. Yeah, I'm about to say yeah, you it. So they, they got the <laughs> bachate, whatever that shit is. Bachata, they they yeah. dancing and shit, nigga. I I'm that nigga that will invite all y'all over here and will go to sleep on you. Like just lock my shit on your way. That's what I do. I'm gonna enjoy my house. I trust every, anybody who is here. I trust you. I will go to sleep on your ass. Like, are you close my door? Hit the little button. It's gonna lock. Yeah, That's yeah. it. It's cool. Whatever. Sleep, sleep if you want to. I'm going to bed. Thanksgiving. That shit ended about. Um, oh, let me tell you how it ended. This might be the whole fucking podcast. Her sister is single. Been single for a minute, and out of the group that was sitting around, um, the hookah. She's the only one with an Android. Oh, my God. So I said, that's why you sing. That's why you ain't got no man. Your ass got a goddamn Android phone. And I said, it's a, it's a whole study about the turnoffs from dating the last three years. And there's been people with Android. That's the number one turnoff in dating. The last three years, it's a, it's a study. It's a paper. It's, it's, it's a paper has been published on this shit. Mm -hmm. Three years in a row. She said something. We get to talking. Five minutes later, it was like the, the the conversation quit and it was an awkward silence. It was just all you hear is the trees rustling and that sleepy hollow wind blowing. And she was like, and I don't feel comfortable with it. And Jazz was like, oh, good night. Get, tonight's over. Oh, hey, I don't, what she, she was offended by me by saying you ain't coming. got no man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. So the next day, we get up. She, motherfucker, I'm like, oh, fuck her. And she acts like nothing <laughs> ever happened. I'm, I'm looking at Jazz. She's like, I'm like, yo, fuck her. Fuck her. So there we go. She older? Uh, yeah. I'm going to say yes. Older yeah. than Jazz? Yeah, than yeah. Jazz. yeah. Older. Okay. I'm going to say she's older. She had like the young girl. I don't know. The older. <laughs> um, so now we're about to get into how Dominicans roll. The day after Thanksgiving, her aunt was like, oh, Jay, I want to cook you these. These these neck bones. Da, 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 da. I was like, oh, neck bones? Oh, bet. We go to the we go to the Jets game. I got nigga fucking special entrance. We go through the special entrance, unlimited food, drinks, nigga. I'm, I'm I can smell sauce gardener. Mm -hmm. I, I smell the, sauce. The photo. Yeah. I smell sauce. I see when DJ Reed stood up, he looked at me and said, I'm that nigga when he got that pick. I was I on the side. Nigga. I could have, I could have parted goddamn Brett, uh, not Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers' hair. Pause. I'm right there. Pause. Yeah, yeah. No, I ain't pausing that. Fuck it. He's that's Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Fuck you too, Donnie. So we's there. Um, we leave the game. We was, we slide in the aunt house. And fuck you, Jets, for losing. I, in, in the cold, and I'm don't enduring that bullshit. Like yeah, don't worry about that school. Yeah, don't worry about it. We know we gonna talk about the score. So we go to aunt house. The day after Thanksgiving, we eat neck bones. Neck bones, rice, little salad. We popping wine. We got the white, the red, elegant. Cool. It's only like six of us. Her aunt, her two kids and her husband, Jazz, aunt, her husband, me and Jazz. Eight, whatever. We eat the neck bones, the salad, and the rice. About 45 minutes later, the husband comes with four boxes of pizza and they cracking more wine. Yes, sir. So all of a sudden, I look around. It's Dominicans coming from under rocks, behind bushes, out the backyard. Yeah. It's niggas in this house now. Yeah, it got, is a vibe. You got the foam all the way. Next thing you know, I look over. The nigga comes back with six more boxes of pizza. Yo, I love it. Did we just not eat <laughs> our damn oxtails? Yeah. That was a snack. Neck bones. So here it is. I'm sitting. I'm, I got my drink. I'm buzzing. I look up. Somebody's making cookies at this point. God damn. <laughs> you should have called the homies for that. <laughs> that bitch sound lit. <laughs> so, <laughs> yo, no, it gets better. 
about 10 more minutes later, the, the, the husband comes back. My man has a real live uh, rescue rooter toilet snake uh -oh. and a brand new shop vac. Somebody done stopped the toilet up, do the waters on the floor, dripping in the basement yeah. to whom he rents to somebody else. Yeah, this nigga the landlord. Oh, Whole fucking that nigga, that nigga the super. Nigga, I was like, it's time to go home. Nah, nigga, that's get probably out of just getting started, boy. Where the corona's at? I, we left. We left. Oh, my <laughs> God, y'all left? <laughs> that was probably party till the sun came up. I got to drive back in the morning. I'm out. A, they was in New York? Where they was at? Uh, yeah, uh, What's it? They was in Jersey, New York? No, New York. New York. That was New York. Yeah, what yeah. part of New York? Uh, it's one of them boroughs. What's that? Manhattan? Part? They was in Manhattan? They nope. was in the Bronx? It was probably Bronx. What's that? And little, it wasn't yeah. Yonkers. That Vince McMahon little meme popped yeah. up. Jay was looking like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, gave Jazz Jazz that, like, he gave Jazz that look like. Nigga, I'll be all in the motherfucking projects of that bitch. Nigga, I'll be in that bitch. Yo, Yo listen, baby. I got a story. I, I, I left the crib one time and hit the block. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she not by myself. She got no. I I got mm -hmm. the thing. No, no, even though I'm supposed to have the thing. No, nah, that's why I ain't supposed to have it up there. I, I can't no, go by myself. I, I listen. I was I was on the block, but I went to a little Spanish spot. I'm there. They I, okay. I I'm I'm, I'm I'm three drinks in. Yeah. They done bought my little uh my little sizzling plate with my rice out. Yeah. And she come. What you doing here by yourself? But we'll get. I tell you that on nah, break. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Oh man, let's get to some of these. Um, <laughs> That was my Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah that's about to be the pod. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, military off limit establishments. Um, so give a little backstory. Um, every base has this list, and every time you in process, they 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 show it to you. So there's a list of off base establishments. So it would say, "What's a trouble club in Baltimore?" Uh, it'll be uh, Windsor Inn. The Windsor Inn yeah. is off limits. It's an open establishment, but to anybody with an ID card, you're not. Don't go there. If something happened, you get in some shit. You are not covered. So they got these off limit um, establishments, and even in in Fayetteville, like in, in Fort Bragg or Fort Liberty, now it's WalMarts that are off limits. Really, man? It's because it's always some shit. It's always some shit. So. Which leads me to who got what the fuck is this link, yo? I ain't got it. I gotta read it from my phone. Um, about this this off limit this off limit shit because yeah, it's like they can't go to the strip club. Yeah, they can't no, go it's, to normal. So, so they can't go. Why you find it? And if I'm if, if I read correctly, I think this is Fayetteville. Oh, it's a creek. Creek. So yeah. it's a creek getting in the water. It's a creek can't that go swimming. In, in North Carolina, it's a creek that just. They, it's this country shit out there. So they want to just, they go they go swim. They hang out and get drunk. Go swim in these creeks. The owner doesn't want people out there. So now this shit has been put on the ban list. You start looking at this list, it's a lot of places that people yeah. frequent. So any tattoo shop that's not... um I said license. License. Yeah. Some used car lots. Some check cashing places. Some loan places. Like a lot of these places are... It's like predatory places. Yes, so that and, and prey and on soldiers, it's, sailors, it's, it's, airmen. It's Fayetteville, right? Yeah. And so, it, for a nigga that's been around Fayetteville, what they know, what they what they known by Fayette now. That's it. Fayette ain't nothing sweet in Fayetteville because it ain't shit out there. So, and it's just so the people that own the creek, right? It's private property. So if something happens to a soldier, airman, marine, when I in it, we'll just say a soldier because it's the army right now. They held liable for that shit. Really? So they like, yeah, hell yeah, because like, it's private property. They own it. So if something happens to somebody while they own their property, they can they can sue them. So they're like, no, fuck that. Stop them from coming in. So no, I, I get what they're saying. Um, but as far as shit that goes on in Fayetteville, F Fayetteville ain't nothing. Sh ain't shit sweet in Fayetteville. No, ain't shit sweet in Fayetteville, and ain't nothing there. It's a bunch of po ass niggas. I'm gonna put it to you just like that. So it's like you know, so they 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 keeping people from Is Fayetteville going on first one forty eight. Mm. Oh, no, but, yeah, yeah. but, uh, but they're keeping people from going to, to like certain establishments that they otherwise might not be, you know what I mean? The, they ain't the most, good, but they, they ain't bad. It ain't, I mean, it's shit that we are used to dealing with, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? We come from environments where we can, we could go into places like that and be like, oh, this shit regular to us. Mm -hmm. But you might take a nigga out of from nowhere that don't know nothing about that and he's subject to these predatory loans. Or he going to a tattoo shop that ain't licensed, getting herpes. Or he getting caught up in some gang shit that he don't know nothing the fuck about. Oh, yeah. They do bang that gang shit off. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah. it's I like, that so they, that's heavy. why they put that shit on these lists. Because it's not necessarily. Like, I was stationed out here. 
So when I checked in, we had we had a list of shit. Half the shit was right outside the fucking gate because I was out in Suitland. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so half, if you outside of the gate, don't go. And what me and my man do? I'm at the liquor store. I'm at the car wash. Yeah, I'm Eric, at the Applebee's. All the places they say I'm don't at, go. I'm at all that shit because I'm like, and every people like, oh, you know, we had the white officer checking in, like, oh, you going out at? I'm on the med white. I'm on the med watch. They're like, are you going out? Man, they can go on the 7-Eleven. Oh, it's dangerous out there. Nigga from Baltimore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight like that. So I'm just saying. I mean, but but not everybody accustomed to that. So you gotta, you can't, you can't just like, you can't filter for one people and not filter for everybody. So yeah. it's like everybody, you don't go in. Yeah, that's just how it works. I mean, I guess because what. The guys move. They moving in packs. Like, let's say, like, um, <clears throat> one of the bar spots or like the strip club that they had on there, right? So, you go to the strip club. This strip club is known, I guess. You know, maybe let's say gang activity, and it'd be a little little rowdy around there. So when the soldiers go, I'm pretty sure you know they go at least three, three, four deep or more. Yeah, they're just stopping them for maybe themselves getting into some shit there like because they're going to be off so it's not going to be like they're going to be in their uniform and shit right right it's it's one of them things now where um you had to kind of we should take a trip to uh, uh outside like and just really go out to like a like at night uh, around a military uh, base because it's one of them things where like like here is not too bad but like Fayetteville the locals know on payday or four day weekend holiday weekend these soldiers are going to come out. And what are they going to do? They got money to spend. They're getting fucked up. And some of these dudes find it real. They It's a thing to just fuck with, fuck with them. They just want to fuck with them. Mm-hmm. And on, on top of that, they don't like the fact that we in your city and we smashing y'all chicks. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, it's like, yeah, he work at Target. He work at AutoZone. Duh, 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 duh. And here you go coming with your brand new charger. You it, Every two weeks, you doing something new to it to make it look better. I can't keep up with that. So what? I'm hating. And that hate turns into violence or fighting and all this other stuff. Yeah. So they try to, the, the the purpose of that list is to just keep you out of some shit. You, you might find shit somewhere else. Mm-hmm. But these particular right. places, they are preying on soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines. When I was in Florida, we said we, I was in Pensacola. And Pensacola got a couple hot spots. Pensacola, poor shit. Yeah, trailer parks and everything. They, they just... You know what I'm saying? But we're going to, like I said, we got a steady job, income and shit like that. So we don't, they're flexing. So we would go to Mobile. And Ooh. they would know we would go to Mobile. So you know what I'm saying? You Bad. got a bunch of niggas. Yeah. yeah. You got a bunch of niggas going to Mobile. And we all, all everybody clean shaving. Lit. Yeah, we ain't no Lit. fucking shave chits. You know what I'm saying? We all clean shaving. So they already know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? And, and at that time, we was all rolling down there. We had um the little placards on our car. The little DOD stickers. And that's when. Yeah, you had to get the stickers. Yeah, we had the stickers on the window. You know what I'm saying? That's, I'm dating, dating myself now. Mm-hmm. You had to get the stickers on your car. So you already know you owe through time. You know what I'm saying? I got all black Macs on 20s with, with DOD stickers. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, yeah, they know what time it is. You know what I mean? So they, they pray on that shit like that. So they know. So providing these lists keeps you out of trouble. And so I'm not mad at the fact that they provide these lists. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These make you more aware. We like, we gonna go anywhere. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But just like be aware. Where, yeah. Um, the military and telehealth. The telehealth because strengthens the military's mental health care. A report says so. Some dude, some dick, at the fucking Pentagon. I'm glad I'm retired. Some dummy. Uh, lived through COVID, obviously, and was like, hey. Everybody else is doing telehealth. Why not let's solve some of our, our medical problems on the mental health side by doing telehealth? So then the, the article goes in to say that, first off, there's a lack of mental health workers, <laughs> right? The, 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 the On that GS side, they're not paying enough. Yeah. And you can make way more on the private sector. Then two, when you move in every two to three years, it's hard to establish a connection and a bond with a therapist. Right. So... The thing is, is you establish a, a, a rapport and a bond with the the therapist and you keep that said therapist no matter where you're going, you just right. do telehealth visits, which I've been seeing my therapist for the last, since 2015, eight years. Mm-hmm. And it's all, it was telehealth. Once I left, it was like, we're going to do telehealth. And every, it's every Tuesday. But 
I like where they're going. You like five years late, but whatever. Yeah. The thing about this is like they should expand this shit to the medical side. We already know uh, when you in in the uniform when you when we get sick. Let's say you have an extreme cold or the flu. You either wait at sick call, which is like the urgent care for the military. And they're going to give you water, ibuprofen, and some Sudafed. Or if you go see the doctor, then they give you, you know, if you need antibiotics. But they ain't giving you all that at sick call. But when you call to make an appointment to see your primary care physician, they tell you some shit like, we don't have nothing until, uh, yeah. till, what's this, is this November? We don't have anything until February 27th. Right. Man, I'm sick today. I'm sick today. <laughs> I went to sit call. They gave me ibuprofen, Sudafed, and told me drink water. Mm-hmm. What? I, I I need this shit clear. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to being, all right, you go online, you find a, um, an appointment time to see a telehealth person. You tell them your symptoms. They can either, you know, do the look, and then they could prescribe you something. Boom, that's one less soldier that's, that's back in the fight. As yeah. opposed to waiting 90 days, and then you keep those wait times down. But I, that's just my thoughts. I don't know. I, I don't... So I'm okay with telehealth when it comes to like mental health and talking through things. And if it's like a routine, like I'm not, this is my yearly or my semi-annual. And I'm like, and I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't have any aches and pains. I feel fine. You know, or like, I want to talk through like, Hey, I got a pain in my shoulder. Like, you know, I'm doing this. But like when you're having a a problem, like sometimes you got to get your temperature taken and take, you know, take my blood, take my heart rate, things like that. I got to go see a doctor. Like, I just think they need to make it more accessible. Like for the low risk people, yeah, send them to telehealth. But people that are actually sick, make them available, make uh, doctors available to see. So if this helps that, you know, weed out, like kind of triage that whole like your low risk, you know, you, you can see a telehealth uh, specialist or, you know, you need to go into see a doctor. Like if that helps this, I'm okay with that. Yeah. You got anything on that? Yeah. No, man. No? All right. All right, King Harris versus T.I.P. If you've been under a rock, um, they had Atlanta Falcons play the Saints Sunday at home, and they celebrated hip-hop's 50th anniversary by inviting everybody who was possibly from Atlanta. Yeah. I, I, it's people, and they gave them 50 jerseys with the number 50 on it. It's people, I'm like, I, why are you there? But whatever. <laughs> King Harris happened to be there. And he went live on Facebook or somewhere, and he got into an argument with his dad and his mom. I guess his dad was teasing him in the whole thing again about the silver spoon. He didn't grow up with them. He wanted to be at his grandma's house, came up, and he went in on his dad. Um, That happened, hit the internet, and then there's a report that T.I. might not even be his kid. So, um, my question to you is, we all know what happened with King and T.I. How are you reacting for you, your son, for your daughter get that age? He grown. He grown. Mm -hmm. You successful in your own right. You had a lot to do with your kid. I want to say how I word this for the sake of it. He ain't in a rich position like King, but like he depends on you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he Mm -hmm. in a position where he still depends on you, but like. You ain't taking care of taking care of him, and then he and he or she does this at an event. Well, see, I mean, Ti, he held his composure because you know, like you said, they was joking at first, and they were they had banter back and forth about <clears throat> King being spoiled, and I know what really got him upset was when Tiny was like, "You still was sucking your goddamn pacifier," until he was like, "I forgot how old the age was, but it was too old to be still having yeah. a passy in his goddamn yeah. mouth." And I think that really, really triggered <laughs> triggered him because he went off then. Now, T.I. allowed him to go back and forth with his mom like that. And him, himself. So they were able to do that. So obviously they have that type of relationship they can do that. And then you're in an open setting. Everyone's having fun, feeling good. They're in the skybox now. And you're trying not to like, you know, here's King. King, he getting his shit off. But then once King got disrespectful, I'd have been like T.I., like, all right now, like, chill, chill. But how would you have did if, if Lil Darnell, 19, 20 years old, I stand on business, dad. 
I you and you well, and, 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 and just like T. Like, All right, now, like, what? Stop, girl. Stop fucking playing with me. Like, yeah. because you, I'm a, I'm around too many people, right. and we're in a setting that's. It's supposed to be fun and happy. We all just was just joking and laughing. It was it was just all jokes. And then sometimes people, when you know what happened, they take jokes seriously. At times, they mm-hmm. they, they something you say something and it hit a chord. And I would have tried to do exact like all right, all right now, like chill, chill. And then I mean, he kept going. But of course, is it'll be different with me because I have girls, so. I wouldn't. I I couldn't be like Tia. He was like, "Boy, you can't do nothing with me," because he was ready to fuck that little boy yeah, up. Yeah. I can't say that. With my, I can say that to my daughter, but like, little girl, stop playing with me. I'll fucking yeah, fuck you yeah. up in there. Take this car from you. You know. You understand? <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I think Tia handled the situation how I would have handled it, especially with my son. Well, my daughter also. Just I could just couldn't get physical with my yeah. daughter. I I know what take on do, but so, I want to hear. It. All right, so I, I'm kind of going through this now, and my son is only eight. So I mean, he's just—I I, I feel like this is this is a this is a result of having a, a an, an intelligent son, an intelligent child, where he's able to talk back. He can hold his—he can hold his own in conversation. He's got a smart mouth, know his words. You know what I'm saying? So he'll go back and forth, and I'll let I'll let him get his shit off sometime. But then sometimes he crossed that line. You know what I'm saying? And I'll pop him. Don't call CPS on me. I'll pop him. You know what I'm saying? And he'll get it together. But I feel like if he was a little older, like King's age, like, no, I'm square. I swear, boy. I don't, I don't like, I probably, I, probably, I probably wouldn't have done it in a public setting. Absolutely. Because that would have, that, I would have, I would have, I would have uh, garnered more negative attention than positive. Absolutely. But my, I would have had security clothes off one of the bathrooms. And we, 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 we he'd have, been, he'd have felt what it meant to be a man that day. You know what I'm saying? We, we'd have squared up on him. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't think he would have. Yeah, I'd have beat the brakes off him that day. Mm-hmm. He would have valued air, yeah, so much. <laughs> yeah, he would have. I'd have, yeah, I'd have, I'd have talked to my yo, security like, yo, how can che- I hold even his chest and his stomach? He'd have valued air yeah. so much. Once I'd, I'd have punched the shit out. How can I hold him without leaving a bruise? <laughs> that way, okay. All right. Yeah, no, I, I mean, grab him by the top of his head. Yeah, so that I mean, whole- <gasps> it must like. It's like I'm sure T. I said to King, like my son, know he can't see me. He tried that shit because he know I'm not gonna. I'm not going to punch a hole through his chest. But it's like, <laughs> let's let's get it together. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. You're not any 60 pounds, brother. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dead at 290. <laughs> and I also believe like he goes at them because just like we all know, he wasn't raised by them. He was raised by his grandmother. He yeah. Was- he lived with his grandparents. That's he lived. Fine. He lived with Mama, cause Mama is gonna let him do whatever the fuck he want to do. Cause here he can't. So he's going to yeah. be at her house, and Mima's gonna let you do whatever you want because that's her baby. Cut them checks off, cause that nigga shit going wood. Pause. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He'll I, feel it. He could. They could make him feel it differently. Like I could. I have to like get physical with my child. You know what I'm saying? But I can. Yeah, I can cut my son's Roblox and take his iPad from him. But like. You know what I mean? Right. But he's older, so you can you can cut them checks off. You can cut that support off. That's exactly where I'm going. If 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 that was Jason Ace, I, I'm I ain't never I don't beat my kids, but I'm I'm gonna cut you off. I'm gonna cut you off. If the disrespect was on that though, yeah, I would have took I would have took Jace to the back. Like, all right, dog. You, you especially you, disrespecting your mom. You, you want to be a man? All right, bet. Let's let's it's Step me up. and you. It's, we don't need no cameras. Turn your fucking live off yeah. and and show me what a man can do. Cause I'm gonna show you what a man can do. And then after I, after I get done, whether I win, win or lose, mm-hmm. I'm cutting them off. Yeah, I'm cutting them off, and I'm gonna let you feel it. Like you, you want to talk big. You 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 are enjoying the spoils of my success, mm-hmm. my hard work, mm-hmm. my 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 blood, sweat, and tears. Acting like you the one did it. Right. Your brothers are out here laying the foundation to their own legacy and their own money. Your brother rap about the fact that he mad. His last name is Harris. His daddy name is T.I. And he said he ain't want shit. He want to do it on his own. Right. And you, here you is, you everywhere I go, in my hip, mm-hmm. getting the, the treatment. Being a dick and dick. you want to you, you talk shit to me like I did something to you? Mm-hmm. Nigga, you just rode in my sprinter with me. Right. You, you, nigga, we on the field. Right. You not getting on the field by yourself. Who, son? Michael, like, he want to be like Michael Irvin's son. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's <laughs> another, King another one. Yeah. yeah you know. you want to be like, yo, what do you, what do you mean? Yo, that. 
Man, listen, I would have told my son, try me if you want to. Try me if you want to. That's like hearing Lord Romeo. Like, shit, I grew up in the Cali Oak. Like, no, yeah, you didn't. Yeah. You didn't. And he didn't carry it that way. You're, so right there. you're not from the Calio Projects. Your daddy that and your true. uncles and your mama from Calio. So I'll touch on, uh, so the uh, video today came over T.I. He pulled up on a club. I guess they put, Yo, they we, put the we, That was next. That oh, was next. Oh, it ain't on that, but that's next. Oh, no. so yeah, that, it, that was so next. I guess yeah. they used the image of it as a club promotion. And T.I. Mm-hmm. pulled up at a club basically saying like, yo, like don't don't use my likeness, don't use my images. If, you know what? Give me all the money that you gonna make off of this. It ain't, ain't gonna be no ain't bar, nobody coming no in. No bar, no sections, no party, no, no nothing. nothing. He st- and then he stood on business, right? And it was like, and he ended that by saying, like, I don't know if you're not from here, but this my city. Yes, he did. And you know, my what boy mean? said, I stand on business. I, and and the thing <laughs> about it, so King couldn't have said that. Mm-mm. And nope. that's 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 at the finding point in. You need to respect who he's talking to as his daddy and who he represents in this culture. Because King couldn't have went in there and said, take this shit down. Ain't nobody doing shit. King, This is my city. Like, yeah, y'all don't know who y'all talking to. What do you do? Because he tweeted that somebody asked him, like, would you fight your dad? And then he he put he he put it on the the black the black background on Instagram. I I fight him, but I ain't fighting for nothing less than 10, 10, 10 racks. He was like, he oh, wasn't he doing so that. Now what for what are you doing 10, when your kid goes on social media and is like, yeah, I fight that nigga, call you that nigga. nigga for I, nothing. I would I would call Mark, <laughs> shut this nigga shit down and bust his ass. Like that's when you gotta become a dad. That's when you gotta become yeah. a dad. Oh, you you oh you think you big time? I'm gonna fuck with me. I'm gonna show, show you big time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it could, it could kind of be, yeah, you know what I mean. I don't know, man. It's just, I, I, yeah, I don't, yeah, I, I know I'm living it because of my kid. You know, you what hit saying? that nigga one time and he do that. <gasps> mm-hmm. Yeah, and then yeah. you let that scream out. Yeah, right, your That's kid. Stuck but like, on. yo, I like what he did with. It, it, I was looking. You know me. I'm common guy. You know, and um, <laughs> people were saying like, oh, people put. Other people on the flyers all the time. Yes, <laughs> and I can sue you for my name and likeness, yeah, motherfucker. You, you marketing that shit. I, like, I'm gonna be there. Right. I own me. Like, oh, but did the flyer say that he was performing? It don't matter. It don't matter. If something would have went down, and someone got shot or killed or shot, at, they're gonna look at the flyer and say, "Well, this was a Ti event." And he promoted it. Yeah. He promoted it that T.I. was there. So I understood that, yo, you can't do this. Now, I wish we just saw being able to see the flyer, but when T.I. was going off and him and the, the big guy was going back and forth and he showed the big guy the uh, the, the, the the flyer, the big guy just, he, he raised his eyebrows and was like, shit. Yeah, like, he right. literally was like, uh, I understand. Yeah. And left it alone. He ain't say yeah. shit else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So... He understood where the man was coming from. Ain't no sections. Ain't no biz. Matter of fact, turn his fucking music off. He said that as he was walking out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and hey, that's that. Hey, when you own yourself, you own your name, and you. Yeah, hey, he a you, trademark. You know what I'm saying? He can do that. I can do that. Fuck that. Mm. All right. Um, about two weeks ago, a great man by the name of Andre Three K. Um, oh. he dropped a massive for um. A masterful piece. Masterful? Trash. He did. Um, And the album sold about 42,000? Something like that? 24, 42? 24, 42? The number. He sold it. I got a a music bed playing. We got to talk over it. So you two don't take this shit down. Uh, But um, this shit is a vibe. This shit is a vibe. I can listen to it in a whole... uh, Getting a... Uh, hot yoga, hot yoga, massage, <laughs> fucking hot yoga music. Yo, this is not bad. I, at first, I was hyping it up, and I'm like, yo, he gonna come over here sound like a little eighth grader, sixth grader in the clarinet, a recorder. Yep, a lot of airy <laughs> and shit. But it's only straight instruments though, like no words. He didn't say a motherfucker. I didn't. Thing, yo. I didn't look at it. I mean, I didn't listen. listen I didn't. Trash, I didn't want to. Yo, so. It's trash. I hate the fact that they hyping this shit up. Okay. Um. You, you you about to make me do it's, something. It's ridiculous in the sense that they also grouped him with hip hop. So now he's competing with motherfuckers that's actually spitting. Like, nigga, like this Andre 3000 shit is like this this shit need to come to a head, bro. Like this nigga should not be in y'all Y'all been asking y'all been putting him in your top ten and not ten, but one. 
for the last goddamn five years, mm. and he ain't gave y'all shit. Don't worry about it. You know why? Lupe, um, Lupe, Lupe rapped over this shit. Lupe. Get the fuck out of here, yo. Lupe, uh, yo, part over. I'm going. He, he blessed us. He blessed us with. Uh, he was the first dude. He said he's gonna rap over all of the the the, the shit, and we probably get a copyright strike. Fuck I don't Lupe care. Too. Yeah. Here we go. Uh. You gotta catch the pocket. You gotta like you double dutch. You gotta know when you gotta hop in on a hot track. Uh. <laughs> Drake might could get this one. I, I don't know who could catch his pocket. Talk Here we go. Hit him with a. Through the weeds, I fatigue often. Traveling through the beads like the entrance to a massage parlor. Why walk with my garage harbor? The odd vehicle with a spawn. I'm trying to win <laughs> like like seven cards. That's a Drake cadence. Uh, that's a Drake cadence. It's no yeah. pocket in that. Because there's no drums. intro or prelude. Yeah. That's like, a Drake cadence. Did, did Drake need, could get did that. I, then I need an 808. But then he's no different than one ever producer. If you want to make fucking beats and play the flute, nigga, all right. So the the good thing, uh, although Tay is hating, um, there's a lot of people who play instruments that are in the hip hop and R&B community that's like, oh, shit. Yo, y'all uh, see that Metro Boomin orchestra shit? Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's kind of old though. Yeah, I know, but I dude, it though, yeah. that shit. They they hard. first did that shit when um Rick Ross shit hard too. But Metro no, when shit T- when Tiana did the um the um the when she danced to that shit at at that fashion show and they had an orchestra Ooh, in the background. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, so they had that was the first time they did it with an orchestra when she, they was on the New York Paris Fashion Week, whatever, and she came out um. What's what's that Merc- Perkins set? Molly Perkins, that song. Mm-hmm. She danced to that shit while he rapped and they had the orchestra. No, but Metro is the next next level. But Metro shit was Yeah. That ain't, hot. That ain't but that ain't Andre. So like that's No. No. Metro. Andre shit is trash, yo. Like stop. Stop hyping this nigga up just because of his name. Yo. I like these little rappers with their little drops. I mean they yeah, producers with their little drops. The little drops. Weezy yeah. got it. Weezy like got it. it. it, was a, it was Weezy a, got I, it. I watched some shit and they just talking about how people got the drops. And I thought it was so interesting to me. I mean, it was like how they took it from like little little snippets and they, they made it their own. Don Cannon is really Rich Gannon off of old, uh, old Madden. Off of Madden. Off of Madden. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow, and they, that's crazy. So when they say Cannon, Cannon, he's really yeah, saying he's Gannon. Saying, yeah, he's really saying Wow, Gannon. that's crazy. And yeah. it's, it's uh, Pat Summerall saying Gannon. Yeah, on Madden. Um, the yep. white boy... Uh, that's wow, yo. That one, that mm-hmm. drop, that's McLovin. Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> it's McLovin, yeah. I seen that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, li- yeah. I like, I like the drops. I mean, of course, back in the day, we didn't need like Swiss. You just knew the beat. You knew what. That's what Swiss brand. Yeah, you knew what Timbo brung. So like, you didn't even need to know. Nah, ain't nothing like that. Justice League, and then yeah. that shit just. Yeah. Ah. Oh, I mean, all that shit. I mean, you know, made back music. I, I mean, oh. I love it when Ross come on and I, on the stage? That, that shit be <laughs> and then it be quiet. Maybach music. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and Andre can't make us feel that way. Nope, he, uh, he's, not me. He, he said he want to rap. He just don't have a. He, I watched the interview. He's like, I what? He's like, I, I go get my prostate checked every year. What the fuck am I rapping about? I mean, what, and that's these, why this nigga is not in your fucking top five. Yo, you know? I think I think rappers, I think some rappers are, and I'm glad like rappers like Busta Rhymes are still active because I think rappers get to he's, a certain age that they like, yo, I can't rap no more. I don't think different. it's cool to rap he's anymore. Different. He's different. I know, but I'm saying I think rappers get to that age like, what am I rapping about? And I think that's what Andre think nah. about like, what am I going to be on the stage? Uh, nah. Andre is a nigga. rapping about. Andre is a guy. I'm about to call him N word. Andre is a guy. Who he is, he's an athlete. He is blessed to be on the court doing what he do, but he don't want to play. You know he got the skills, but you don't want to play. But you got the other dude that got <laughs> the whole Jordan jersey, the fucking shorts, the shoes, the Nike socks. He got the whole uh, Jordan shit. And he and he just you like your fam. Ooh, Give big it boy, that's what you trying I'm to say. Not, no, no, not, not big boy, just anybody else in, in the game. But you literally, J Electronica, another one. You have the skills. But J Electronica, put just, a, he'll put an album out. He hasn't put an album out. He never put an album out. The album that he put out was was eighty percent Jay Z. And it was yeah. old. It was fire though. Like and it was old. You hear this shit? But yo, <laughs> that J Electronica shit fire. I didn't like it. Yo, fuck Andre. All right, man. All right, let's go. Where um, are we at? Um, the cities. What is it? Cities with high infidelity rates. Yep. Um. This, so there was a list that came out that that ranked 
um, the cities with higher infidelity rates. So here we go. We're going to go from 20 up. 20 is come in at Portland. D.C. rank come in at 19. Seattle, 18. Aurora, 17. Um, Anchorage at 15. Colorado Springs, 14. Tucson, 13. Cleveland, 12. Denver, 11. Pittsburgh. Come round in at 10. Buffalo at 9. St. Like Paul. The football team. <laughs> St. Paul at 8. Minneapolis. Uh, uh, Pittsburgh got some good sneaker shopping, too. Uh, Pitts, uh, St. Paul at 8. Minneapolis at 7. Cincinnati at 6. Tampa, 5. Las Vegas, 4. Atlanta, 3. Orlando, 2. And at number 1, Miami. <laughs> I can believe it. Miami. Um, I can so believe it. I the mean, uncuffing season. I mean, you, I'm surprised by how many like those northern states, the Anchorages, the Pittsburghs, the ain't shit there. But the you said right, Aurora? that's what I'm saying. What's like, Aurora? Aurora is Colorado. Colorado? Colorado? Okay, yeah. it's right outside of Denver. Yeah, yeah. yeah so right. what are they so doing it's, out there? It's like it's like Fucking Denver, bitches in one. Aurora, <laughs> and Colorado Springs are like in this like little triad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Um, I I can see I've been in all those places, so I kind of understand. <laughs> I can see it. When I told him I was in Boulder, he was like, "It ain't shit out there. There's nothing in fucking nothing. Boulder." Um, Hookah spot was empty. Yeah, so I mean, but I, I'm not I'm I'm surprised, but not surprised because the places they named like Anchorage, places like that, like there's nothing out there. I've never been to Pittsburgh. But so the fucking cheap. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've lived in Pittsburgh a couple years, so. and people go to places like Miami to do shit like that. So yeah, fucking I cheap. get it. I get it. You know. <laughs> um, Surprise! Well, I guess DC brunches ain't 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 setting it off like that. You <laughs> best off fucking. <laughs> well, what was Atlanta? Atlanta. Uh, uh, you say four or three? Atlanta came in at number. Let me look. Number three. Number, number three. three. Yeah. I can see Atlanta in the top in the top five, top three. I'm, yeah. I'm not surprised. Um, Everybody go there to do fucking and cheating. A whole yeah, lot of yeah. yeah, a whole lot. LA wasn't in there. No. Not in the top fifteen, or top twenty. Yeah. yeah, I'm surprised LA isn't though. Yeah, another like if major, Miami major did, city like, like I, LA, I New York. Right, I would have thought major cities. Right, nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nothing. Chicago, said, Chicago uh, was in there. A raw. Nothing. Chicago. Sorry, they fucking nah, in the raw. Not, no, yeah. not in the top twenty. So Chicago didn't make so top like, twenty. Yeah. So the three major cities in the U.S. probably. LA, uh, Chicago, yeah. New York, not there. Not yeah. there. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, I mean. Where you going that way? Where you about to go, Jay? Uh, so we're gonna get into uh celebrities and these sexual assault allegations, mm-hmm. and we're gonna talk about Puff. But um, so if you if you haven't known, like all these sexual assault allegations that are coming up are all based in New York. So I gotta read this. Um, so New York Governor Kathy Hochul signed an Adult Abuse Survivors Act last year, and over three thousand lawsuits have been um have emerged alleging sexual assault abuse since the law went into effect. Under the new law of the state of New York, the statute of limitations of sexual abuse has been lifted for one year, allowing victims to sue their abuser, regardless of whether the abuse, regardless of when it occurred. Um, Everyone from prisons to uh, hospitals, government agencies, and even A-list celebrities, including Jamie Foxx, Russell Brand, Cuban Goody Jr., Bill Cosby, Puff, have been hit with sexual assault cases. So, again, what happened was November 24th, 2022, this um, Adult Survivors Abuse Act went into effect. You had one year, no matter what, when it happened, to file a civil suit. This shit has been going on, but right before the deadline, the big names started popping. Mm-hmm. And then this shit caught wildfire. And then what happens? This We live in a monkey see, monkey do era. So the moment that shit hit, wow. In 93, I think I was in the room with him. Yeah, that one I time. I think I remember he. Yeah, Jamie Foxx touched me. That one time I took your cheese. Yeah. Call, call let's him. call him. And not and now this shit is, is going on. And I don't I don't want to sound like I'm victim shaming, but dog, come on, man. Like I um if if you're gonna if you're gonna pass a law like this, and this pains me to say this shit, this is a good idea, poor, poor execution. You should have lifted the um the statute of limitations for prosecution. Because basically this shit is a, and not to say that this didn't happen to some women or men, money but it's a money grab. If you really wanted to help victims, you would lift the statute of limitations and allow prosecution on a criminal level. They, now, they, couldn't, they couldn't find evidence for that shit. 
That's 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 why. Exactly. So now with a with a a, a, a criminal case, you have to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt mm. that they did do it to convict. But I, with this, which is why people go civil cases like O.J. Simpson and all that other shit, you don't have to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt. You just have to have some burden that they did it in order to get a payment. That was the craziest shit. I remember growing up as a kid and then like wondering like, how the fuck did, does a man get acquitted? Because this is the first time I ever heard about like civil, some you know, a civil case growing mm-hmm. up, and then like they're able to sue him and basically take everything that he owns. I mean, from his fucking Heisman trophies to everything, right. like. Yo, I was found innocent. How do you we? How do we get to go to another court, and then you get to take all my money? How? Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. That shit was always weird. But yeah. to this shit that's going on, like, um, I have a family member that dealt with that, like, from a coworker or from a family member. Family member that was great. No, no, no. I'm saying they they dealt with it from a co- from like somebody outside of the family. Somebody yeah. they, okay, and. They dealt with it for years and held it in. Like nobody knew. And then Were they a kid or adult? A kid. Okay. Happened to him as a kid. Held it in for 30 something years. Damn. And then something triggered. And they just was like, fuck it. You did this to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also was still around them. Growing up the entire time, though, still was yeah. around, still dealt with them, still talked to them and everything. Like nothing happened. Kept your distance, but still interacted. But something triggered and went off and was like, you did this to me. And I know sometimes people, um, excuse me, <coughs> try to bury some things because when you're, when you're young, you, you sometimes, I mean, seeing between... Seeing and hearing it from people that I know, seeing it and even seeing it on movies, and especially I'm a SVU fucking fanatic. Seeing how people push that shit down and just almost kind of like you try to erase it from out of your mind, mm-hmm. it's always still gonna be there, but you erase it. And then something happens and it triggers everything and it brings back those old memories. So I do understand when it comes to some of these these ladies. And with these allegations with, I mean, regular people and with the celebs. So I definitely understand. Yeah, I, I and I, don't, I, I, to Jay's point, I don't want to feel like I'm, I'm victim shaming or anything. And I just wish, like, if, if things happen in your life that, that aren't morally right, like, come up. Like, speak out then. Like, don't wait because you don't. You know, I uh, feel bad. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin their career. I don't want. I don't want to do this. I don't yeah. wanna, like. No, no, no. If he somebody this not he he or she did something wrong, man, speak up. I hate that. Please, I, I always up. hated that. That he's he's powerful or she's powerful. It's always. It's a lot of times it's a he. So um, he's too powerful or they weren't going to let me. I was a singer and if I said anything, I never was. I was going to be blackballed and never sing again if I didn't. But the See reality what was they it didn't it didn't their career didn't amount to much anyway. And I I've I've kind of I've seen that where they said they're like, oh, if I'd have said something, uh they would have blackballed me. Like, you ain't really did much. So you could have protected your integrity as a person and put somebody in and and and, and, and stop somebody from doing it again if you just spoke up. Like, I don't know. I just I, I just I don't know. I mean, we because we did it with the Cosby shit, and I and I was like that. Now I and I've had a sister. My sister was raped. My sister was raped and murdered. So I trust me. I know all about it. Um, but you had these. You still have women. I mean, just recently, someone like yo, you, it's twenty twenty three, almost twenty twenty four. What do you mean that Bill Cosby raped you in nineteen seventy six? Yeah, yeah. It n- now, like, when were you going to say something? And think, I mean, I haven't been in that position, so I don't know. What that person has went through, or what that person has to hide, or whatever, but it's weird. And then, like now, with you got what the Puff situation. I mean, with him settling with Cassie, it opened the floodgates with to being sued like a motherfucker. Yeah, that shit was like ready, set, go. He settled quick. Settled quick. Jamie Fox kind of sued. He the only one though. But I mean, hey, oh, and so when, and so when, is when I seen that, I was like, I just remember now when he was like, when we cut that top, he was like, we went to the next one. He was like, Puff did that shit. 
Like, <laughs> facts. Like, um, and but just like Luke, Luke said he'd go stand in anybody corner. I mean, in anybody courtroom because you had Gloria Valdez. I mean, she was one of the top uh, video vixens in the uh, at sixteen, late nineties, early two thousands. She was in every video, bucket naked, thongs. But, around, in the industry, just around but, all but of them. But B hate her guts. Because like she was with she used to deal with pimp. Uh. She was fucking with pimp. And um she was dealing with Aaron Hall. They she didn't got they she, I mean, she got they got kid together. Aaron Hall is the one gonna get puff locked up with R. Kelly. He gonna get himself <laughs> locked up because he no, no. on Vlad TV and, talking about I was fucking it. I had to show these niggas how I fuck. I got a big hammer. I'm <laughs> fuck I'm fucking in front of everybody. Like, bro, why you I don't wanna see you fuck, bro. Like, yeah. It was not talking like that. That's because everybody in there, they, they got the booger sugar in them, they right, got the right, drinks right, flowing, right, right, and right. the next thing you know, they start humping, and then like, with Gloria, not saying none of this shit happened, because I'm pretty sure some fucked up shit did happen to this woman, but like, Gloria Valdez posts a, uh, she's Dominican, by the name, Puerto Rican, whatever. Um, That's student ID. Posted her student ID, and she says, look, I was just a baby, but and you, we know Dominican women, Puerto Ricans, like they can look older. I, anybody can look older, but they definitely look older because it's like to me what I've seen with my eyes and, and my experience. They, they they heavy on the makeup. They heavy on the lip liner, eyeliner. Mm. That shit boosts your appearance. You are at a concert, Luke concerts and shit like this because she tried to say Luke and them was grooming kids. Luke went off like man, mm. motherfuckers had to tell me what grooming was. I don't do no motherfucking grooming. Ah man, we we at my concerts, we popping coochie. Right. We we want fuck like, but we wasn't out here grooming or looking for young kids. And I will go to court. Now Luke was with grown women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, Luke was like, we don't need no motherfucking yeah. kids. I got it. It was that freak dude. <laughs> yeah, with Gloria Valdez, shit. like, why were you in these places? Um, Puff. Former bodyguard. I mean, he allegedly he, oh, he was on say, a spree. He was saying like, "Yo, Aaron Hall didn't find out how old she was. She was like sixteen on a plane." At so they was trying to go to the airport, but she was sixteen. She couldn't get to go to. They was going to Jamaica. That's how he found out she was sixteen. Now she said he now, said he stopped fucking with her after that. Stop fucking with her. But she, re, I mean, they had a kid together though. But they uh. She rebuttaled the guy. Was like, I never talked to no bodyguard. Or he he wouldn't know. But like. Why? Where were what you? Your fucking parents. You there? You go. <laughs> Why were you sixteen even with Earn Hall yeah, yeah, about to leave the fucking your parents country? Were fucking groomed. That is the days of your parents when those kids people was giving their kids and selling their kids to R. Kelly and, and all these other people. Oh, you could put them in a video, or you could put them on a. Here yeah, you go. She was a fucking check. Her parents yeah. were grooming her, not fucking Luke. Yeah, yeah. Like she been outside, but like pimp on. I mean, I'm sorry, Bun B. I'll shoot y'all the link because I I can't think of the guys. Uh, but it's in Atlanta, and he literally don't even say her name. He be he, he you know who exactly who he talking about because he was talking about the big pimpin video. Yeah, and he was like pimp was late, and that's why I like pimp with a mink with no clothes on because they was wilding in the car, oh, wow. all the chains high, <laughs> fucking. But he, <laughs> but he like he said in a different way because of course he's gonna re, uh, respect pimp. Yeah. But he was like, he don't fuck with her. Mm. And this was, I think he did that video like last year, two years ago. He did that interview. But like, he was just saying like, she ain't right. Like, she evil. Yeah. But mm. why were you this young? And that be these things. Like, my godson mother, I don't mean to take, take control of this shit, but like, my godson mother. I can't remember how old she was, but this is Big Thomas concert. This is this is when Baby and Fresh was out. Big Thomas. She uh bless you. Bless you. She um she went on tour with them. She was like 17. Wow. Wow. She went to like two cities with them. Yeah. Then he dropped off and she caught a bus back. I said, boy, girl, what the fuck? She's like, at that time she was my best friend and shit. Like that's how um her son became a godson and shit. Because we were friends in middle school. Yeah. From from chicken pen, seventh grade and shit. And she was on that bus fucking grown men. Mm. 17 years old. Wow. Gone. She went to two. She, she was in two cities. I can't. I mean, this eons ago. Yeah. But the, and then they gave us. They gave her a couple dollars, and then they paid for a bus ticket to come on back. That's crazy. Now, granted, she could come out like, oh, I was. And the crazy thing, how like, 
her, she, her mom is a preacher. Her mom is a preacher, and her dad make a he he made a lot of money. Like he worked in Virginia, made a lot of money. So like yeah. she had a home. A, she had mm-hmm. a mom and dad yeah, yeah, yeah. in the house that cared wholeheartedly. Now where the fuck she told them she was at for that time? Right. Who who knows? That's a weekend. Yeah. But she was gone. She left Baltimore and went to two other stops with their ass, and they brought her back. That's crazy. Sheesh. And she was seventeen. She was living them lyrics, wasn't she? Mm-hmm. Was she? Wow. So that should be weird, man. When you know the the these kids, even with the Josh Giddy situation that they got going on, like these kids just put themselves, these women put themselves in a situation with these grown ass men, and sometimes these grown ass men may know. Sometimes they act. Sometimes they on some don't ask, don't tell type shit. Like fuck, mm-hmm. if I don't know, I ain't even gonna ask. Like she look like she young, but shit, you know, you know, some we all know is a is that we is that guy that if it's grass on the field, what you do. It's time to play. Play ball. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, I like mine with no grass, but me, you, uh, absolutely. If Maya would have found me, me back in the give day, me a kickball field, Maya could have took me on tour with her. I don't give a fuck how old I was. <laughs> <laughs> back in the no. day, <laughs> Marsha Ambrose, Ma- fat old Maya skinny. Because right she a post because uh, Marsha used to, she came on breakfast. Like, she yeah. like I fuck groupies. Men do it. Why can't I? <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> Uh, when you going on tour? Oh. Yeah, well, yeah, we right there. <laughs> Shit. Uh, all right. Uh, we almost out of here. Uh, Young Thug Rico K started um a few days ago. This shit has been a whole shit show. It's been a whole year picking jurors. I never knew that. I thought they was. I like, thought they was doing motions and all this. Yeah, other shit. they were picking jurors. This the whole time has been juror selection. Oh, yeah, shit. yeah. Right. And out too so, many people was so doing shit. The judge had allowed cameras in there, and. The the camera panned and they showed a dude in the in the in the jury and some nigga in the comments was like, yo, that's Rashard Wilson sitting there with the glasses on. You put the nigga name, the nigga name mm-hmm. out there. So now the judge says no, no. That's Maya, uh, by the way, guys. I ain't no yeah. uh, Maya me, Planet Nine if you want to check no, out yeah, Maya. No, like, no uh no cameras in there. But listen, uh, no. The uh, judge just uh, had uh, a dog uh, in the motherfucking yeah, his, courtroom. He, his 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 dog. His dog. He brought his dog to he work. He brought his dog to work. He said, "If y'all hear the Lord chain or some shit, like don't be alarmed. It's my dog moving around." Listen, uh, yo, th- yo, could, his whole courthouse, his this, whole this, this, shit is this, a shit this, show. Bro. This is this is niggas at they finest. Yeah, Atlanta, right? Sorry, white people. This is a, yes. This is a <laughs> niggas. Nick, you listening to this? This is a niggas at they finest. I'm sorry, my people are in yeah, these people. courtroom. I don't know what it was. <laughs> listen. <laughs> What really got me was when Young Thug's lawyer responded to the prosecution and told her in the whole courtroom that YSL means Young Servants of the Lord. Ah. Right. Tell me where, tell me where, uh, and don't say it ain't shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, but he said Thug was like Thug some, some, some shit. Something over the God. <gasps> young some, Servants some, of the Lord. No, and Thug meant something of the God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And said it with a straight face didn't crack a smile, oh, a yeah. smirk, or nothing. That's why they get paid the money, son. That's what, yo, criminal defense. That's what the money mm-hmm. is. So I'm not mad at him. Yeah, spin that shit. Spin that narrative. I was going to name this podcast I Stand No Business. I don't know. We might call it Young Service of the Lord. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> young Service of the Lord. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find what the fuck he said, Thug. Yeah. What the fuck yeah, it, was, it, was, it was good, too. I was like, yeah, it was though. Yeah, it was good, yo, yo. The lawyer get paid overtime, man. I'm not, I'm not mad at you. They, look, they pay these lawyers a lot of money to go in there and represent them in these difficult cases. And 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 if you ever follow follow criminal law, defense attorneys get paid a lot, a lot of money. Of fucking money. Go watch the wire. Mm-hmm. When they Stay ain't watch the wire. Go watch these defense lawyers in the wire. He he paid that role to a T. And you know he didn't give a fuck about whether he was guilty or innocent. He was just like, "Run my mm-hmm. money, yeah. and I'm gonna tell you what you need to do." Damn, Sue Surf got five years. To five do. years, I seen that. Yep. Yeah. Damn, yeah. free to wave. He been like, uh, he was facing thirty. Yeah, uh, five, five years. That's eight what eight a five. good. That's what a good, good defense attorney would do. Now, now my, thirty to five. And now some of you niggas out here for my, federal now, rack attorney and firearm charges. Now he got five years off of thirty. Now mind you, if you just go get a nigga with a suit and go and represent you in a, a child support case, how yeah, much that lawyer your payments? Is not holding you down. Nah, you get a lawyer. <laughs> you might make more than your public defender. Uh, real quick, y'all seen the, the girl that started Dick Dash? 
I've seen, I've seen, I the, I've seen the little, uh, the little. They're gonna shut her down. Like she should have just, she should have started this shit and like never been a face or nothing. Like, yeah. cause this is legal escorting at this exactly point. You is. have cars with a neg plant emoji riding around. It's just like, all right, police, follow them, wet, let them serve, pick them up. Like, good idea, bad execution. You should have had this shit on some like back page, some type shit. Yeah. Like, does that sound around? Uh, I think they shut it they down. They shut it down. Yeah. But I it's another website. Else. Yeah, but yeah, something, yeah, else something, else something, else. something else for the truckers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'll be, be watching. These. Right, so I follow a lot of different things on Instagram Obviously. and Facebook. And I, so like I watch these trucker, these trucker videos. They be talking about the lot lizards. Yeah. <laughs> lot lizards. <laughs> lot lizards. <laughs> man, I be cracking up, man. I think that's the funniest shit to me. They just... Man. Hey, Yo, honey, you want to have a good time? But it's real. But it's really real life. I it know is it's real. Life. Life. It I is, know it's real. I it know is. it's real. That's why. That's why it makes us fun. They used to be out by my job, out in Laurel, like right between Jessup and Laurel. As soon as you pass one seventy five, yo, I remember that. That's the one of the times I seen a real life pimp. Yeah. Like it's summertime. My man had on a red suit, red hat, top to bottom. He had three chicks out there. He had two black chicks and a white chick. And they walking up and down the joint. So the chick had the smallest ass skirt on. So as soon as you ride, anything ride past and blow it up, yeah. straight ass. No no underwear on nothing. Man. I'm cruising doing a truck like, what the fuck? <laughs> hey. And my man really was out there with the cane, the red pimping these, up. pimping these hoes. You, Top to bottom. You know how many stings they've had on one Sunday, like uh, on Route up One, and, right there, up and down, especially them that fucking the massage spots. They used yeah. to run up and up, run up and up, motherfucker, every couple months. It, it ain't nothing, but it's all commercial right there, and they mm-hmm. had the big, the big, um, the truck car wash, all that all shit that was shit right, right there. there, right by the jail, right by the so jail, right between, by the between there and like I guess it was like one hundred. What about that flying J right after you come out the uh out the tunnel? That's right off. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dundalk. Oh, I imagine that too. Yeah, yeah Dundalk. Yeah, but right. But, you don't want that Turner Station. That but we Turner Station that? trash. That Dundalk they, trash. They had, like, they used to put that shit on the news. Like, Sting Operation and Jessup led to 15 prostitute arrests. Like, yo, I'm telling you. My God, damn. Yo, they used to sting them. Yo, and they used to be the worst too. I used to see them back. I'm driving school buses back then on Washington Boulevard. These, these are the worst of the worst. Uh, Chicks that's out there, they they straight junkie heroin. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. this is nasty. And yeah. these motherfuckers is lining up, getting pulled over. Police right there. I was like, yo, y'all really pulling over? Oh my that? No. god, like that mm. shit. Nah, mm-hmm. man, let's get out of here, man. Close the thoughts. What you got? Uh, but y'all, y'all been off, nigga. So you better uh, have something. Uh, y'all, uh, you better uh, have uh, something. Uh, you been something off. Something is a little long. You know oh, me? shit. All right, here we go. Here we go. Your energy is a gift. Not everyone deserves to have access to it. Not everyone deserves to be surrounded by it. Not everyone deserves to emotionally and mentally benefit from it. Save your high vibrating energy for those who generally care for the evolution of your spirit. Your soul is golden. Not many mm-hmm. like you have been created. A gymnast ray is bound to attract all sorts of characteristics. <laughs> it's up to you to decide how the close ones get to it. Bye. Book of Isaiah one through thirteen. <laughs> right, write that shit up, yo. Shit. Yeah, your soul is gold. Now I fuck with that. Nigga one. had thirteen verses. I, t- I told yeah, you, little love. Told you, little love. Yeah, that's All Book right. of Isaiah. Hey, a whole psalm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do I follow up with that one, man? Um, what you got? Look, man, you are worthy, talented, and competent. You are much better and smarter than you think you are. Remember that. Repeat it every day. I believe in you. You believe in yourself too. You sound so believable. <laughs> Edit that out, nigga. Nope. <laughs> That's a real this week. <laughs> you Tuesday. Uh, mine is uh, not everyone has access to me because I want peace more than attention. On that note, this is JFP, episode 202. Again, like, share, comment, subscribe. Cost you nothing. Go a long way. Um, let's spread the podcast. Um, again, shout out to those that waiting to form, those that waiting to form, those that waiting to form in the future. Shout out to those hand to all that shot United States of Baltimore, Zone, zone 18. 18. And lastly, shout out to PG County. Uh, on this note, uh, we had a lot of good albums drop, but we're gonna close this shit out with uh, some Lil Wayne and two, uh, and two chains. It's a whole vibe.
Welcome to the Jane Friends Podcast.